Oh, hello. Welcome back to The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners Chapter 2 Retribution. This is the early access PC VR version, and this version is not due out till sometime in February of 2023. But the Meta Quest version is due out in just a couple of days, and we are on the eve of Retribution. So we're going through some of the new items in the game, some of the new weapons and features. And in this video, we're going to be taking a closer look at the chainsaw. But before we get to that, take a minute to click the S in the corner to subscribe. Heading for 25,000 subscribers, I'd love to have you on the team. Also like, share, leave a comment, let me know what you think of the video, or the game, or the chainsaw. Here it is. This is one of the new crafting tables added to the game, and the chainsaw is unlocked at level four. You're gonna need shafts, sharp objects, nuts and bolts, rubber, and conductors. On top of that, you're going to have to unlock level five to get the gas for the chainsaw, and that is biomass, sugar, and phosphorus. Now for biomass and phosphorus, you're gonna have to go out on night missions. And here we have it. KP Co. Grayson. And if we look a bit closer, it says, for a real good boy. Now, if we look even closer than that, we can get there. We need our flashlight. It says something under, for a real good boy. And it's K Perez Corporation. Now, I did a little looking, and there is a producer at Skydance that goes by the name K Perez. So we got a little Easter egg in the game here, and my guess would be that Grayson is uh, someone else, either at the company or the relative of someone at the company, perhaps a real good boy. And here we have the KP Co. Grayson. It is a two-handed weapon, and we have our fuel readout on this little gauge. You can see it's in the green right now. To start the chainsaw, we've got to pull the ripcord. Now we're started up, but it's not using fuel, or it is very slowly, I'm not sure. Let's watch it for a second. This is me investigating things, as well as showing them to you. So it looks like the fuel does not go down when it's just idling. Wouldn't that be nice? Now we're going to do a test. I'm gonna grab it with my other hand and we're gonna rev it up and we're gonna see how much we get out of this chainsaw when we're running it. Here we go. There you go, that is one can of fuel for the chainsaw. Now to refill it, you gotta grab gasoline from your ammo pouch and dump it in the little gas reservoir at the top there. And we're back to full. So those are the general mechanics of the chainsaw. Let's take it to a location and see what it can do. Alright, here we are at Bourbon Street, and we're going to check out how the chainsaw handles in combat. Let's start it up, see if we can answer some questions. Like, uh, what's it do to cars? That's pretty awesome. We've got another volunteer over here looks like it interacts with the environment 
pretty well too. Now, let's see if we can push it through a walker with one hand, which I don't think is the case, but... Yeah, it doesn't really move. You need the second hand. Although it seems like they can't advance on you if you have uh, the chainsaw in them, which is fun. I'm going to see what happens when I uh, get into a walker and then let go of the chainsaw. I need another volunteer. Oh. Let's try that again. It just falls out. And then we got to start it back up. Legs, head, and we are almost empty. We're gonna run out, I think. There we go, it's done. Let's try from a crouched position. Seemed pretty unstoppable with this thing. As long as the fuel supply holds out. One of the questions is, oh, I got an idea, is can we attack NPCs with the chainsaw? This guy's running off for something. There we go. And the answer to that question is yes. There is no restriction at this point against chopping humans in half. All right, let's see if we can get a drop kill with this. Sort of. It's actually really quick to just take off one of their legs to finish things. And if we put it away over our shoulder or drop it, it just turns off. What is that? Oh, spinal cord. And in the pack, just drops. These larger weapons are a bit hard to uh, maneuver over your shoulder or into the pack. There we go, but our pack is full. So easier to do it with two hands. You know that sound. We're gonna see how the chainsaw does with the bells. Let's find ourselves some sort of defensible position. Ah, I guess we're out. I mean, that's gonna be the key, is watching your fuel. And uh, being ready to refill. OK. 
Okay. We got a corner here. I think we're safe. Got to watch the verticals. Doesn't seem like there's a way to refill it halfway. Oh, there is. Look at that. Kind of a waste of fuel, but... And it shut it off. Let's try that again. Oh. Sorry about that white shirt. Okay, we're just out of the green... Let's take care of this one. And look at that, we can refill midway. So if you have a break in the horde, you can take a chance to refill. As long as you have plenty of fuel, because you're gonna be wasting a lot of it that way. Well, there you go. That's how the chainsaw works in The Walking Dead. Saints and Sinners, Chapter 2, Retribution.